the soul, is an aspect, an expression of God. And that most people get a little confused and they think that I have a body, I have a soul, but that's not quite correct. You are a soul. You might have a body, but you are a soul. And what is a soul? Metaphorically, if God were the sun, then each and every one of us would be a ray of his light. And therefore the soul could be described as a ray of that, that uh, divine light. So part of self-discovery is discovering God, and part of discovering God is self-discovery. Most people don't understand that. Most people think that there's some kind of conflict. To find God, I have to give up myself. To find myself, I have to give up God. But actually, Jewish mysticism teaches us that if you really are going to find yourself, imagine a ray of sun that had self-awareness. What would that ray of sun have to know and experience to truly find himself? He would have to find himself as a ray of sun. So that ray of sun that has self-awareness was suddenly experienced within himself this vitality, this energy, this, this brilliance, this life-giving force. And it would realize that all this energy within these, all these powers within me are definitely not coming from me. Well, from where are those, those powers coming from? So when a person's in search of themselves, they have to realize that, that, that Part of that journey is a search for the one that I'm part of. That's why I think we're, we're looking to be a someone. Someone means I'm some of a one. There is a one, and each and every one of us is some of that one. We were all on a construction site, and each and every one of us was given a bag. And we were sent off into this construction site, and I opened up my bag, and in my bag I see that there is a saw, and there are nails, and there's a hammer. So it would be clear to me, oh, I guess I'm working on the carpentry here. Then the guy next to me, he would open up his bag, and he would see that he's got screwdrivers and testers and wires, and he'd realize, oh, I guess I'm an electrician here. And the other fellow, he would open up his bag, and he would see paper with blueprints and pens and rulers, and, and he said, oh, I guess I'm here to, to oversee. Every single one of us has been given a very unique package of talents, as well as a very unique package of challenges. And we need to be able to discover the unique dynamics between what's positive and powerful about us and yet also what's negative and deficient about us. And our life's mission lies in a unique synergy of those two aspects of who we are. Rabbi Yisrael Salanter once put it very well. He said, a person who doesn't know their strengths is like a carpenter who has no tools. But a person who doesn't know their weaknesses is like a carpenter who doesn't know where the knots are in the wood. And therefore, we need to be able to not only know what we need to fix, but we need to be able to understand what are the tools that God has granted us and graced us with that enables us to do the fixing. Right? So somewhere there's a balance in that. But Jewish tradition teaches us that everything we have is what we need and everything we need is what we have. Right? And therefore, it's important to understand that it's not just the positive or the talents or the strengths that, that, that we've been graced with, but even the unique challenges and the unique uh, negative urges and, and, and inclinations that we are faced with, all that fits together into a perfect synergy of what's my unique purpose on earth.